Welcome to Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas. I'm Doug and today we're going to make a broccoli casserole. I was trying to think of what can I make for St. Patrick's Day that is green? Broccoli. Okay, so we're back. So let's talk about how easy this dish is going to be. So first of all, you're going to need some of these. Um, these are dishwasher safe, microwave safe, oven safe, uh, kind of little uh, casserole bowls. I got, these are really, I think there's four of them. I have around four of them. And this is gonna make around four. You could also use like a nine by 13 uh, Pyrex dish if you wanted to, but I'm gonna put them in here because I think they look a lot nicer in there. Um, you're going to need one can of cream of mushroom soup with roasted garlic. You're going to need one egg that has been beaten. Not beaten like that, but, be <laughs> but beaten like this with a fork. This is the way my mama used to show me how to do it. Like <laughs> Just like that. You're going to need um, basically a half cup of mayonnaise and a half cup of sour cream. We're gonna put that together. I'm using probably about a half a cup of yellow onion that's been chopped up. We're going to need some yummy uh, sharp cheddar and mild cheddar. I'm not gonna use all sharp. You can use all sharp, but I'm gonna mix it with a little mild. And you're also gonna need some frozen broccoli. I have baby broccoli florets here. We can use that. Um, how much? Well, I have two bags here, so this is about 12.6 ounces each bag, something like that. And some paprika. Now this is Hungarian paprika, and yes, it does make a difference. I work with uh, someone and they're saying, oh, paprika is paprika or paprika. No, 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 no. <laughs> this one, Zeged, so good. It, you can really tell the difference between regular paprika or paprika, I say paprika or the Hungarian Zeged brand. This is the sweet paprika, so good. Love this, highly recommend this one. And some salt and pepper, and I believe, oh, I got some Italian breadcrumbs too, can't forget about that. All right, so let's start making our delicious dish. We have the oven preheated uh, 350 degrees, all right? Let's start. Okay, so of course the very first step is to uh, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you need a medium sized bowl. We're going to be placing the egg, the uh, mayonnaise, and I'm using Hellman's mayonnaise. I'm just going to put half a cup of the mayo. This is not light mayo, this is just regular mayo. And I'm going to put a half a cup of the sour cream. This is why you should wear an apron. Half a cup of the sour cream. I'm on a roll today, y'all. <laughs> y'all, I'm on a roll today. I don't know why. I'm just acting real goofy today. I don't know. Must be the weather or maybe because my sinuses are stuffed up. I have no clue, but it's something. All right. <laughs> All right, so, <clears throat> thanks. Okay, yucky. All right, so now we're gonna combine our ingredients. Okay, so in a medium-sized bowl, I have my cream of mushroom soup with roasted garlic. Uh, 
so yummy. Let's put that in this bowl here. Make sure we get every bit of that delicious Campbell's cream of mushroom soup. And you can use any brand you want on the cream of mushroom soup. I'm just using Campbell's. Use Campbell's. <laughs> then I'm going to add my egg mixture. My dad used to say egg. I'm gonna put the egg mixture in here. And then I'm going to add the <laughs> one cup of the mayo and sour cream. That's so about a half each. So you wanna make sure we get all of that. And we're gonna whisk this together. Because we love to whisk. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. Whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, the oven is ready. Okay, that's good. In my large bowl here, you get my broccoli. <laughs> so I got my broccoli here. And what you want to do is you're going to pour this mixture, a theme of mushroom soup mixture, on there. But first I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. I like a lot of pepper. And then some salt. Not a lot. Maybe about less than a half teaspoon. The soup already has the salt in it. And then we're going to, oh, I almost forgot my onions. How can I possibly forget my onions? So I'm gonna put my onions in the mixture. Yeah. That would have been not good if I would have left that out. <laughs> Gotta have those onions for the flavor. Yum, yum, yum. All right, I think that's it. Okay, good. Um, now, the broccoli is pretty small. I don't think we need to really cut anything up. So we're gonna leave it. I'm gonna pour this mixture over the broccoli. And we are going to be uh, putting this in the oven. It's going to be in there for around 45 minutes to an hour. Mm, yum. Let's give that a nice toss. I was trying to think of something different for St. Patrick's Day, something that's green. And uh, of course, you know, there's always corned beef and cabbage. You could always make something like that. That's very traditional. But I thought, I'll do this, something different. Mmm, mmm, yummy. All right, make sure to get all that sauce, our casserole dish. And don't worry, we're gonna be adding the cheese and the breadcrumbs. paprika, or you could use any paprika you want, but I'm telling you, it does make a difference. I 
I should just be kind of looks nice for Christmas, green and red. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna add my cheese. I'm gonna add mild first. Then I'm gonna add the sharp cheddar. You could do all mild, you can do all sharp. It's your taste, whatever you like. Excuse me, Winston can't be here. More cheese, the better. That's what I say. Add a little Italian breadcrumbs for a little crunch. <coughs> Look how easy that was. Super simple. See that? We're going to put it in the oven. It's going to cook for about 45 minutes and um, it's going to taste awesome. Stay tuned for the taste test. So while my broccoli casserole is cooking in the oven, I decided to decorate a little bit for St. Patrick's Day with my Mark Roberts elves. Look at those, aren't those cute? And this is the fairy. You can tell the fairies have the pointy ears. They almost look like a Santa Claus, but the elves, you can see the difference in the face. I think they're so cute. Some people don't like them, but I, I think they're cute. And then I have some other Ray Dunn mugs here. Lots of luck, St. Patty's Day. And then this little guy I got at Home Goods. I thought this little leprechaun was cute with his pot of gold. So it's all set up for St. Patrick's Day. It's ready. Okay, so we're gonna have a little taste test. It looks so yummy, I can't wait. It's piping hot. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Mmm. Mmm. Really good, guys. Super, super good. Super yummy. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us on Happy Healthy Living with Yvonne Douglas today. Remember, if you want that homey vibe, you need to subscribe. And please give this video a like. Until next time, all my friends out there in YouTube land. Happy healthy living. Bye-bye. Mm, let me go back to my casserole. Mm.